Hello, this is Wes. I'm going to go through making a model using ZSphere's in ZBrush 3. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I have my tool, pal tool palette open and select the ZSphere tool. I'm just going to click and drag in the viewport and hit the T key so it switches me to edit mode. First thing I'm going to do is make sure my activate symmetry is turned on in the X axis. So what that does is it will allow me to work on the model in a symmetrical mode and it won't get all out of kilter. So I'm going to add just going to click and drag and add a couple spheres here. Zoom out a little bit. And once we're in edit mode, we can use any of these move, scale, and rotate tools on Z spheres. Like so, for example, if I want to scale this Z sphere down, I would just select scale and click on it, then click and drag. And while we're in Z sphere and we're editing, we would hit the A key, and that will switch us to a a preview mode that where we can see what the polygons would look like. We hit A to get back to the Z spheres. Also, when we're in A, when you hit A and you're previewing, if you go to Adaptive Skin under the Tool Palette, you can up the density to see what the mesh would look like subdivided. I'll just work in three subdivisions. Close that. Hit A to switch back, and I will just. I want to add one a sphere in the middle, so I'll. I'll just get my cursor close together on the center line, and it'll switch to. Well, it should switch to green. Oh, I'm in scale. What I want to do is be in draw mode. So when I'm in, when it when it pops to green, that's going to add one in the middle, which is kind of handy. And ZBrush with the with the mirror with the symmetry on, it's going to automatically keep our model symmetrical. It won't allow me to pull this center sphere off to the left or right. I'll hit A to preview this. Not really liking the way that looks. That looks okay. Not really making anything. This is just for demonstration. So once, once I have, uh, once I'm in this this preview mode, I can hit the Make Poly Mesh button, and that will actually make a new tool for the mesh that we can edit. Now this tool will ha will have the Z spheres in it that you can still edit. So you, if you want to edit your Z spheres, you'll have to load this tool back up. But right now we're all, we're working on an actual poly mesh, so a polygon model. So you actually can't hit A to edit the Z spheres. From from here, it's just like any other polygon or OBJ you would import into ZBrush. We would go in and subdivide it. Oh, uh, make sure you turn on activate symmetry because it doesn't carry over when you make it into a poly mesh. You've got to turn that back on. So now we can paint. I need. Oops. I need to divide this up a little bit more to get a little more detail to paint on. So that's basically it.